one time I got home from from work and I got home and I was watching a Lawrence City Council meeting and I was seeing the debate that was going on amongst the city councilors and I saw there was no no decorum uh, and these were the people that were making decisions for my family and I. Uh, at that point I decided to uh, talk to the family first and convince my wife first of all to run for office and once she gave me the blessing I decided to run for city councilor. You know, a year later or two years later, I became the president of the city councilor of the city of Lawrence. After that, it became uh, state representative for the city of Lawrence, Andover. And today I can say that I'm the highest ranking person of color in the Massachusetts House of Representative as a second assistant majority leader. The teacher to student ratio in the city of Lawrence when it comes to people of color or Latinos are very low, uh, close to probably 10 to 15%. We need to make that better. Uh, we need to try to see how we can get it up to 50% and hopefully 70%. Uh, to reflect the student population. Well, Latino for Education is one of them, right? They have, we have worked with them in various, uh, with various uh, policies and, and we were able to, we were successful uh, about a year ago on, on passing a bill that was going to help us diversify our school systems. Uh, I will continue advocating with any bills that are out there to make sure that it helps communities of color. One of my priorities since I've been elected into office is to work with policies that's going to represent our communities, especially communities of color. Education is the key to success. And we've got to make sure that us as a state provide the kids with the quality education that they deserve.